Facing the fall, students in Duval, Clay, and Nassau counties went back to school today with COVID-19 at the top of mind for many local teachers and parents. Startling numbers show pediatric COVID cases in our nation's hospitals are at the highest level since the pandemic began. Baptist Health telling News 4 Jacks uh, they have 16 COVID positive patients in Wolfson Children's Hospital in Jacksonville today. Four of them are in the ICU. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson spoke with a couple local pediatricians about this spike and Scott is joining us now live. Kent CDC numbers show that the pediatric patients, the numbers in Jacksonville or as high as anywhere, or in Florida rather, high as anywhere in the country. As we're seeing that peak that you're talking about, as high as it has been during the pandemic. Let's look at the new patients coming into Baptist Health in the last few days. On Monday, there were four children admitted to Wolfson Children's Hospital for COVID. The day before, they admitted 10 children. Dr. Mobin Rathor is Chief of Pediatric Infectious Disease at Wolfson Children's Hospital. I asked him about what we know about these children because parents have reached out to me asking about hospitalized children and whether they have other health issues. Dr. Rathor says otherwise healthy children are being admitted as well. So they children with underlying conditions? Are they generally healthy children? Well, it's a mixture of them. Many of them are, are generally healthy kids, but they are also kids who have underlying health conditions. And of course, they are the ones who get are the sickest uh, and have the high chance of having morbidity, but they are children who are otherwise healthy also. Looking at Florida as a whole, in the last two days of data reported to the federal government, 118 pediatric patients were admitted to a hospital with COVID-19. Dr. Adriana Cantville is a pediatric hospitalist at UF Health. She says children can have a variety of symptoms from congestion and diarrhea to needing oxygen and IV fluids. Unfortunately, a lot of times the entire family is affected and it's not just a child who is sick, but we have sick parents, um, sick grandparents. So oftentimes the whole household is affected. I also spoke with both doctors about the start of the new school year. They say the incubation period of COVID is days or weeks, meaning if there are outbreaks in schools, we could see more hospitalizations in coming weeks. I also asked the doctors about the ages of the patients. They say they're, you know, infants all the way up to teenagers. Now you can't get the vaccine if you're under the age of 12. I asked about those 12 and up. They say the vast majority they have treated in the hospitals have not been vaccinated. We're live tonight. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.